Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel episode 1664, Loan Amortization Table. Uh, here in the USA, it's uh, getting close to spring. Spring is traditionally the uh, new home buying season. Uh, so let's take a look at Excel's tools for calculating uh, loans and amortization tables. Okay, so we have a uh, loan amount of $200,000, pay for it over 15 years, 180 months, 3.9% fixed interest rate, and we want to calculate the monthly payments, that's equal PMT. PMT, this is one of the more confusing things, I like to go into the uh, uh, insert function wizard, because they actually walk us through, uh, the rate is the interest rate per period for the loan, 6% divided by 4 for quarterly payments. Oh, okay, well, so we take that rate that the bank gives us, the 3.9%, and we need to divide by 12. That's the that's the first thing they get you. And then N pair, total number of payments for the loan, uh, that's the term. And then PV, this is the present value. This has to be negative if you want your payment amounts to appear as positive. So minus sign uh, P1 there, and we'll have our answer 1469.37. Okay, and just be careful that excludes PMI, tax, and insurance. And of course, you can do all kinds of what if. What if we go with a 30-year uh, loan? All right, the payment comes down, and so on. Uh, but how do we calculate the amortization table? All right, so we start out. Uh, our beginning balance is the loan amount. So we'll just uh, get that started, and then we have to calculate the interest and principal for each period. All right, so rather than put the number 1 here, I'm going to use equal row of uh, 1 colon 1. Uh, the reason I do that is as I copy that down, it's going to change to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then to calculate the interest equal I payment, I payment. Uh, it's very similar to what we just did. We're going to take that rate, I'll press F4 to see, put, put those dollar signs in, divided by 12 to get a monthly rate. Uh, which period? Uh, it's the period over here in A8 comma, and then the number of periods, we're going to uh, use B2, again I'll press F4 to put the dollar signs in, comma, and the present value, so minus the original amount, and again press F4 there, close the parentheses, those other ones, uh, FV and type, FV is, a, is like if there's some residual value that you didn't have to pay, and type is whether we pay at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month, uh, it really is not uh, that different. Okay, so um, there's our interest. The principal, we could use equal P payment, um, but it's just as easy to take our monthly payment, that one, F4 to lock it down, minus the value to the left, and that'll get our principal uh, for this particular month. Our old balance, the cell above us, minus the principal payment, will get our new balance. And now that we have this, uh, we can just copy this down. Now it has to go down to 180 rows, so I'm going to hold down the Shift key and press Page down a whole bunch of times, I'm watching that little tool tip there, 184, 183, 182, 181, and Control-V to paste. Let's take a look, I'm going to go to the next corner of the selection, so Control-Period, uh, and that should get us down there. So I actually copied it one too far, one too far, so I'll get rid of that extra row. And we're good to go. Now, of course, the, the hassle here is if you change uh, to a 360-month loan, 30-year loan, you're going to have to copy this down again. Uh, you could get around this by using all kinds of if statements. You know, if the row is greater than the term, then show uh, quote, quote. Uh, but for just a quick little loan amortization table, this is a great way to go. Okay, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.